Hey guys, Lan here on Grady's Mom. I have a bag review today and I'm so, so, so in love with this bag. It is a Fawn Design bag. I have loved these for a while now. I would say probably close to a year and a half. And I had gone back and forth between do I need it? Do I just want it? What color? And I really, really debated getting one of these bags for a long time. Mainly because when they first came out, I had a lot of jujube still. I have since gotten rid of most of my jujube. I really don't have that much jujube at all anymore as far as bags. I do still have quite a few of the accessories and the smaller pieces, um, but now that Grady is five, I rarely ever need like an actual diaper bag. What really sold me on this was the fact that I know and I knew that I could use it as a mommy handbag just for me. So. For the past year and change, I had been carrying my Louis Vuitton Neverfull, and now with summer approaching, um, Grady gets out of school in May, I knew that I needed something that was more functional um, to be able to have an option for a backpack. So the Fawn has the option for both a backpack as well as crossbody, as well as just over the shoulder, because this strap is adjustable. So I have actually used this bag three ways, as a backpack, as a shoulder bag, as well as adjusting the strap um, to wear crossbody. I debated a lot between black and brown. I am very glad I went with black. Um, I feel like for me, it's just the most my style of all the colors. I've always been a sucker for the pebbled leather and it is a pebbled leather. Um, I love yellow gold and the zippers and the hardware is yellow gold on this. I just love the size, the shape, the look. The best way I can describe it is this bag is just really my style. Uh, more so than any other diaper bag, more than Jujube, Petunia Pickle Bottom. It's just my style and I feel like now that Grady is older and again I wanted to, a bag that I could use as a handbag for just my mommy things, I just feel like it really truly like I said, um, is, is a representation of me and my style. So I'm gonna obviously share with you guys all the things I have packed in here. I have a few little things for Grady, um, but mainly, again, I've just been using it as a mommy bag for my things. It's the perfect size. Um, I've used it both without Grady as well as with Grady. Again, he's five, so he uses, needs a lot less things now. Um, in the summer when he's with me every day, I'll just need to add a few extra things that aren't in here now, like snacks, a drink for him, possibly his iPad, depending on where we're going, you know, possibly a change of clothes. But the nice thing is it has the option and the space for that. Um, just kind of an overview, the zipper goes around like this, sort of in like a half moon shape. And again, the backpack straps, the adjustable crossbody or shoulder strap. And it has this larger pocket here in the front where I'm putting my hand. My phone actually fits right in here. I have the Galaxy S7. And then this smaller little zippered pocket in the front. I've just been putting my, you know, my keys or maybe just something small like a pack of gum or your keys or something. And then my phone again here for easy access. It does have the side pockets, one on each side. And I've been keeping a nine ounce um, swell bottle in one side and I also have a 24 ounce Contigo bottle that actually fits um, as well which I will share with you guys the way that it fits in the packing portion of this video. Other than the two side pockets, the two pockets in the front, that is all the pockets on the outside and again it's just so pretty. Again that pebbled leather, I just really think it looks like me and I feel really um, it feels very natural for me to carry it. Um, I don't feel like I'm carrying a diaper bag. It just feels very natural for me. Um, when I'm out doing errands, I sometimes will wear it as a backpack to be hands-free. And still, it feels very natural for me. I never feel like I'm carrying a diaper bag, um, that kind of thing. So I'm gonna share with you guys now all the things I have packed inside. I'm also gonna show you how my 24 ounce Contigo bottle fits in the side pocket. And then after the packing portion of the video, I'm going to show you guys some um, clips of how it looks worn all three ways, backpack, crossbody, and shoulder um, style. So you can kind of gauge, I know a lot of people are interested in this bag. 
Alright guys, so pretty much this is going to kind of be a what's in my bag, but like a keeping it real version because it's just kind of a little bit of a mess um, from just the past couple days of use. But on this smaller zippered pocket here, this is the smaller of these two pockets. I've just been keeping my keys and I just keep my keys in this, um, this is a six ring. Louis Vuitton um, holder so I just keep my fob there and this whole little thing with the fob hanging out fits right in the zippered part um, and you can zip it and then behind that I just keep my phone this is just a uh, Galaxy S7 so that fits in there perfectly and then on this side I have a 9 ounce swell bottle right here it slides right in without a struggle you just have to make sure this stuff is out of the way and it fits in there perfect. I also mentioned earlier in the review that I was going to share this 24 ounce Contigo bottle. Um, it will fit in the bottle pocket, but it does take a little bit of maneuvering. It doesn't just slide right in. So you just have to kind of work it in. And if, if there is something in the um, interior pocket, it's it's going to be a little bit tougher to get in so that's about as good as it'll get without forcing it um, if the bag was less full it would go in a little bit easier but I just wanted to share because I told you guys I would that the 24 ounce Contigo and the 9 ounce swell fits obviously as you saw this one went in with a little bit of um, you had to kind of work it in a little bit it doesn't just slide right in like the 9 ounce so that is that this tassel here I know um, I'll get asked if I don't mention it. I actually found at H&M and it was a dollar. It rang up for a dollar and it's black with gold hardware and I think yeah it was $9.99 and I thought that's how much it was. I'm willing to pay that. It rang up for one dollar. I just thought it was perfect to hang on the zipper. So opening up the bag, mine just has the pebbled um, leather interior so it's not like a different colored lining in mine some of the fawn bags are lined with patterns this actually is empty I it was sitting in my car and uh, I just had to bring it in remember to bring it in the house so I stuck it in my bag it is empty like I said however um, I use this thing all the time for Grady's drinks when we go out because I can stick an ice pack in here this is JJ Cole brand and as you guys saw it does fit in here. Um, it does hold its structure when empty so even if it was full it would still fit in here but obviously your bag would be heavy so I, I did want to mention that because that's just something that I was reminding myself to bring in from the car. I have Grady's iPad in here. This is the Air 2 um, in just a case so I have that in there. That's the iPad something I bring once in a while depending where we're going. Then there's this back pocket here that's open. I just have a small little notebook in here and then some of the travel Kleenex in this back pocket here. Then there is a little ring here on this back pocket to attach your keys if you wanted to. I don't use it because I keep my keys in that little wallet thing. And then the pocket here, I actually have a package of this Dukes. I like to keep snacks in my bag for pickup line at Grady School. I'm in pickup line for like 20 to 30 minutes every day during the week and I like to have some kind of like nuts or jerky or some kind of snack for myself. And the pocket next to that, I have a hand sanitizer spray and just a pen. Then in the main compartment, again guys, these interior pockets, the smaller ones, if you have something, a lot of stuff in these pockets where the bottle pockets are, it's going to make it more challenging to get the bottles in. Most of you guys know that I'm sure. I have a goldfish um, little bag for Grady. My YSL wallet here, this is a full size zip around wallet. I have a separate review on this um, that I can link below. I have my key brand, um, just my sunglasses that I keep in this case here. I have a small set piece by Jujube that has my earbuds for my phone and a cleaning cloth for my phone, just like an electronic cleaning cloth. I have a triple charger thing here that charges anything you can imagine. I have this cosmetic bag here and I keep a ton of stuff in here. I keep on one side lip things. I have a ton of different lip things, lip balms, lip glosses and it's separated um, down the middle. I absolutely love this cosmetic bag. I got it from Target. And on the other side I have mommy things. So hair ties, tweezers, hand lotion, perfume, that kind of thing. Face cream, just smaller versions of things um, on this side. So everything is not floating around the bag. It's all at least confined in here. 
I have this little zippered pouch here. It's about the size of a small set piece, maybe a little bit bigger, a little bit longer. Um, and here I just keep gift cards, punch cards, things I don't want bulking up my wallet, random coupons, stuff like that, just so they don't bulk up my wallet. I have another small set piece by Jujube in the Dancing Dias print. And I have all kinds of random stuff in here. So I have like panty liners, tampons. I have some of these individual um, neat cheeks in here, random hand wipes, things like that. And then I have a few pieces of candy for like a bribe for Grady or if I get a sweet tooth, one or the other. I like to keep like candy or gum or something in here at all times because sometimes if I need to distract my son, like a piece of gum or something will work. I have some of these buddy wipes in here. These are actually really good wipes. I'm pretty sure they're inexpensive as well, but they are good wipes. I get them at Baby's Arrest every once in a while. And I think I'm pretty sure I'm usually surprised by the price on these. They're inexpensive compared to like the Johnson's hand wipes. And they are good wipes. So just wanted to mention that really quick. I have my checkbook in here because I had to write a check the other day. And I think that is everything. So looking down into the bag, there's this main area here. There's a pocket here, pocket here. There are two pockets here separated by a seam and then one pocket here. Again, these two pockets here, if they're full, it's gonna be harder for the bottles to fit into. So that is everything I have. Next, I'm gonna share with you guys a clip of me wearing this backpack, um, pretty full backpack style. So I have a clip of that, and then I also have two still images of me wearing it on my shoulder, one on my shoulder as a shoulder bag, and one crossbody. Um, just for reference, for those who don't know, I'm about five foot four, I'm about 145 pounds, my weight fluctuates between 140 and 150. I'm pretty chesty and broad shouldered, just to give you an idea of my body type, because it's always hard to tell on camera. So just something to keep in mind.